not a movie about a website. Yes, that is one of the elements of it, but it's about number five or six on the list of what this movie's actually about. The thing that grabbed me was that there are elements in this story that are as old as storytelling itself, of friendship and loyalty, jealousy, class, uh, power, betrayal. Please, let's not have any of that. I saw a knit cap. I saw this knit cap. Right here, you got your cap. There's no reason on a show like this ever for any reason at all. Hold up. At its best, the movie is about really big things, and it's about kind of modern ambition, you know, within this kind of old business world. It's about quite a lot of things, I suppose. Social interaction, the lawsuit primarily. I mean, it's about a big, big war. You better lawyer Bob the asshole, because I'm not coming back for 30%. I'm coming back for everything. I'm right back from the it could be about the invention of television, or it could be about the creation of this camera. Um, and what it really is is about two friends and something that, that's amazing that they create that ultimately ends up breaking their friendship. Property theft. Why? Well, why didn't you show this? It was addressed to me. They're saying that we we stole a Facebook from Divya and Arendra. I know what it says. Did we? Okay. Uh, All right. I, uh, okay. My first note about the scene is I don't buy his. I like the shorter one. I don't. What were their names? I find it to be a little cutesy. We had three weeks of rehearsal, which was a great luxury, uh, and that rehearsal was sitting around a table reading through the scenes, talking about the scenes. I'm CEO of bitch. I don't know how that connects. Uh, to me, it feels oddly like a dangling participle here. Okay, if we only hear that once, which we do earlier, is that enough for the payoff at the end? I think so. Okay. When it only came up once, I was making a, a, a bigger to-do about it. Um, so you think we can land it only doing it once? I, I think so. Okay, great. Does it make sense, David, to, like, the water, the water in the Golden Gate Bridge is freezing cold? Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, a billion dollar valuation in all the ice cream you can eat. I don't like the all the ice cream right. you can eat. You? The billion dollar valuation, to me, is the best frame to watch. Yeah, I feel like I spoke maybe three times during the three-week rehearsal period because um, the rehearsals were less about like rehearsing the scenes and or coming up with blocking or something like that. It was more about just like discussing the story as a whole. Or, uh, you know, I was interested to see how David was so focused on finding what was behind each word in the script and why it was there. I want to get through this fashion thing a little bit. All right, let's do the fashion thing first. Okay, okay. so I'm just saying you cut one of the fashions. What fashion? Fashion's never finished. It won't be finished, that's the point. Okay, fashion's never finished. What? Fashion's never finished. You're okay, so cut that fashion. I know, cut that fashion. But then you're on set for 70 something days and you know, he's in charge of executing that. Uh, so, you know, it made sense retrospectively that he would be uh, so insistent upon finding what was under everything. All I'm saying is that I'm CEO bitch to mm -hmm. me doesn't have to be- It's about- it doesn't have to be for the girl who the cross captain. Mm -hmm. I'm CEO, bitch, is anybody who looks at a 21-year-old who says, 
I invented this great thing. And they go, isn't that great? And of course we want you on our board and we want your ideas further and we want to have like a relationship with you. Uh-huh. But now you can go the f*** home because we, this is, we're the pros from Dover. We know what the f*** we're doing with this thing and you're finished. Okay, and, and he yeah, said, I don't want to take their time with this yeah. thing. But do you think that there's, do we run the risk of people saying, wait a second, am I supposed to, you know, feel empathy for a guy who... He may not be taken seriously, but surely somebody cut him a check, um, uh, and he's 21, and he's got a few million dollars in his pocket. I'm supposed yeah. to feel empathy because the big guys weren't taking him uh, uh, seriously? No, I can no. definitely feel empathy for a guy who got you know, really wronged by a girl. But he did get wronged by a girl. If you look at the first scene, the last thing you He did didn't. Do, Sean yeah. did. It was very exacting, very open. We all felt um, free to query and question anything that was nagging at us, which is really nice. But no, it was fascinating to be in a room with Aaron and, and David and trying to gain a perspective of how the next 80 days were going to be and kind of try and figure that out, which uh, was impossible to, to decipher, but um, it was a fun game to play.